Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys, Mike here from Arizona, and I'm about to show you how I'm going to water seal these grow out beds that were on top of the IBC totes. So let me show you what happens here. Like you have one of these caps, and it has one of these center caps. And what I do is I usually just put a wrench in between these grooves and just twist it off they just unscrew it's really hard to do by hand so you definitely need a tool to do this but let me show you what it looks like when you take it off so now you have a nice hole and you can put these connectors in here these couplings and you can screw them in on each end and now you have your thing you can use for your overflow okay so that's what we have once we do that we have the bottom piece that's left over, the part that you screw that onto. And they already do have rubber gaskets, but these actually do leak. I have tested them. I, they leak a lot, so it's not like I can get away with it because it's like a drip or two. They leak a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill all of this in with silicone. And more than likely what we're going to use, we're going to use Teflon tape on the threaded parts of these couplings for the inside part so that doesn't leak as well and we're going to screw it onto the bottom of this After a couple of days of curing, we have success, sort of. So this grow bed is all good. So I have my stand pipe. I actually only decided to go halfway with this. So I figured actually this would be a matter, right amount of water what I would need to properly propagate my plants. I don't need to go all the way to the top, so I saved myself some water there. So what happens is I have this stand pipe, and it comes down through here and then comes out through there and the same thing goes for this one so I got plenty of variation for the fish and uh, plenty of water movement all around but I do want to say though that this one I've tried this one twice already to reseal it and seal it and reseal it again and it just keeps leaking so I'm going to have to really work with this, so for now I'm just going to work out of these two top ends and these bottom ones. I've got plenty of water um, for the amount of plants that I'm going to be using anyway. All the fish are doing good, guys. Actually, I've had no casualties 
of any of those feeder fish. Been feeding them a pond pellet and they love it. But all of these fish are doing really good and I couldn't be happier. This thing is still planted, it's growing right out of the top of the water. This is doing good. Looks like I gotta clean out this sponge filter on that pump right there because uh, clearly not enough flow coming out. So I gotta do that. The goldfish in here are doing good. I cannot see them. Got a lot of algae still, but they are eating away at it. But I will be making a filter probably for this particular bin as well. Just because I do want to have some pretty nice fish uh, growing in this, this bin as well. And I, I don't I don't necessarily want to be covered in algae like it is now. It needs to be more like this one. Let all the plants take over the algae. <laughs> but as you can see, we are in business. Things are going really well in here. The cycle is going well. In fact, all my parameters were actually pretty good this morning. So we're actually pretty cycled. So I'm thinking at this point, I might just start adding plants, just small amounts of plants to the top, the tops here, and just see how they do. And that is my update, guys. Have a great day. Please comment. Please like. And if you have not done so, I'm inviting you to hit the subscribe button. Have a good day.